The new Arc browser, innovating the browsing experience. What do you mean innovative? It's literally the exact same as the brand new browser Zen, which uses Firefox under okay, the hood. Dude. New, new browser. browser. New browser. New browser. New browser. New browser. They are all boring. How do you look at this and get excited? It's just another way of displaying a website. Wait, what the hell do you mean they sell new browsers? Huh? Don't know the good old game. Install the Chromium Embeddable Framework. And holy crap, we have a browser. Ain't that crazy? It's not like I trimmed two hours of me trying to get cookies working and not realizing I set incognito to true. That'd be crazy. All right, here's the plan. Building a browser that makes browsing the web feel fresh. Don't care about bugs. Make a website to sell the browser for a hundred bucks a month, but in reality it's free. And spread geopolitical propaganda to promote it. Okay, maybe we're not doing the last step. Every modern browser has the ability to open multiple websites at the same time. Everybody craves for left side vertical tabs instead of horizontal ones for some reason. So I'm gonna say you all and make this super counterintuitive half-baked implementation of a revolving tab list with fading and highlighting. But now there's a problem because this thing is a placeholder. They are manually added by me. The, the text is not automatic. So we have to make it automatic. So you'd think surely there's a function to get the current website name. And no, there fucking isn't. So you know what that means? Nothing like compiling the C++ project at 10 a.m. in the morning. Who's a good boy? Uh, so anyway, after the tactile PC session, we need a way to navigate to websites. So now you can open a search pop-up when you press Ctrl L. It uses DuckDuckGo as the default search engine because for some reason people have a weird obsession with the bangs they have, which basically means if you search something and type exclamation mark W for Wikipedia, it will redirect it to the Wikipedia page for it, or exclamation mark X for Twitter, GI for Google Images. I don't really get the appeal, but sure, whatever, you can have it. And now there's no URL bar. You have no idea where you are. And also, here's some footage of the search function working. Now, for shaders, I wanted the most obscure, useless and unnecessary ones that exist. So now you can turn on a screen crack, a shader that makes stuff look like a fever dream, for the record I have no idea what a fever dream looks like, a random highlight shader I added for no reason, and a sunlight shader from my past similar project, Greedy Code. And if you're wondering, here's how the browser currently looks with every shader enabled. Or in the words of a friend of mine, Yes, it looks so good, I wanna try it, which is always a good sign for a face that video. Now that we have shaders and a few pop-ups, maybe it's time to fix some issues in the browser. No, now we need camera that rotates in a circle and follows your cursor. Oh, and it's also zoomed in 3% by default, so it doesn't get out of frame. Uh, is this nightmare fuel for front-end developers? Yes, do I care? No. Anyways, I'm supposed to care about customizability since that's the main selling point of most Chromium reskins. So now you can open the settings menu with Ctrl S and you have a few options like changing the color of the browser. You can now also change your default search engine to one of the following. DuckDuckGo, Pinterest, the British Broadcasting Corporation, Roblox, the IRS, Character AI and this random retailer I found from Bulgaria. Oh, you wanna use Google? Brave Search? Bing? Well, you're gonna have to modify the code. Oh, you don't know how to code? Neither do I. Just kidding. But if you wanna learn how to code, you should try out Brilliant. Brilliant has all these sick interactive courses on programming, math, science, AI, including courses that teach you the basics of Python programming. With Brilliant, you're not just specifically watching tutorials. You're actually writing code and building projects right in your browser. Their programming courses start from the basics and walk through essential concepts like variables, loops, functions, and all that good stuff. And as you progress, you start building more complex programs and applying your skills to real-world scenarios. You can also learn on the go using your mobile phone, fitting learning into your schedule wherever you are. So if you want to get familiar with programming in a fun way, head to brilliant.org slash facedev, sign up for free, and you'll also get a 20% discount on the annual premium sub. Shout out to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. So what is CEF and how the hell does my Kdo game have a browser inside it? Well, CEF or Chromium Embeddable Framework is basically Chromium's guts ripped out and packaged for developers who need to have a web view in their application. It handles all the stuff behind the scenes such as web rendering, JavaScript execution, network requests, and even handling cookies apparently. So when you tell CEF to load the web page, it fires up its own little Chromium instance complete with its own processes and memory management. It allows me to provide you with this web view while I add random UI elements that interact with it. And also I get to pretend that I know where I'm going when there's, that's not the case. So some unfortunate news, the browser crashes when the website you're loading tries to redirect you too much. I have no idea why, the developer of the Godot extension has no idea why, and I will not fix it. As long as you don't go to Google Images through the search pop-up, you should hopefully not see any malfunctions. 
This is so scuffed. <laughs> Anyways, now that the browser works completely fine, bug free with a modern UI and extremely good performance, now we need a modern website to sell this rock. Thankfully I bought this domain a few weeks ago for no reason, so we can use it. I don't wanna bore you with front-end development, so I'll just... There we go, the most generic website to ever exist. Uh, we've got the main page showing the browser and some bullshit information that we don't really care about, all the search engines that are available. And on the navigation bar we got the about us, which basically tells some fun facts about me. Uh, privacy. We collect as much data as possible, yeah. And um, basically, we don't uh, collect anything, actually. Anyway, pricing. Um, pricing is pretty affordable, it's pretty cheap. Uh, I suggest not clicking that. And we just got the download button. Oh, also. Blur. I'm not pretty good. Yeah, it. okay, shut up. Next thing, we need someone's opinion on the browser. So, to get an unbiased opinion on the browser, I sent it to my friend to test. Okay. Um, okay, open it. What the f***? Sun Simulator. You can choose a color. Why is it so advanced? It's the default one that Godot is using. I, I did not make that, I just added it. <laughs> Pinterest, British Broadcasting, Roblox, Character AI. What the f***? What, what search engine is it using? The one you selected, Character AI. Oh my <laughs> days. How did I change that? Control S. Oh, wait, duck, duck, go. Let's go IRS. Okay. Uh, Avoid taxes. Hmm. The thing I should pay it, but this seems like I shouldn't pay it. And then I was told the browser is lagging, which cannot be the case. I write proper software. There's no way in hell the browser will. Maybe, maybe it's lagging. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm typing. <laughs> what? What the f is going on? No. <laughs> oh my days. <laughs> this is disappointing. <laughs> maybe enabling all the shaders should make it better. No, it would not. <laughs> Wait, let's try it out without shaders and without with shaders. Now it should work. Yeah, I should type better. Oh my days, it's so laggy. 61. Okay, that's proof that if you use shaders, you will type faster. I'm trying to open Task Manager to see the usage of this browser. No, you don't. You don't need that. It's lagging my whole PC. <laughs> what the f are you doing? Are you mining? Bi How many sub processes do you have for good? <laughs> <laughs> You're mining bitcoins. You're mining bitcoins. No, 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 no. Yes, no, no, you no, no, are. No, no. Nothing sus is happening behind the scenes. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, totally. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do not have time to finish designing that. Try pressing control and Okay, press it multiple times. I'm spamming it. I want to break my browser. You probably sh should not do that because it's basically creating a new browser for each tab. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you tell me that? Oh my how, how many tabs did you open? I don't know, I just pressed and, and then I stopped when you said it creates a new browser every time. <laughs> Does it use a lot of memory by any chance? Oh my days, check how many I have quick the process. No, you're f- <laughs> My CPU is packed at 100. It's just straight up there. <laughs> <laughs> the most efficient browser. Let's see how lucky YouTube is. <laughs> Let's see if my CPU explodes. No, why is it full screening? I didn't ask for this. Your browser is doing stuff on its own face. No, that's a feature. That's AI powered. Why is it dropping so many frames? Let me see if there are more interesting sites to visit. I know your site, but you won't allow me, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not gonna have no, no. Dude, it's so loud. I can like, record it on my phone to show you how loud it is right now. No, please work, don't crash on me now. I honestly have no idea if if you disable it, if it's actually being disabled or if it's just being hidden. I assume it's being hidden because of your coding skills. Yeah, okay. Fair assumption. That might actually be the case. You know what would have been a funny idea? Making the browser block any other browsers from loading when it's a <laughs> That's a virus, bro. You already made a virus, you don't have to again. And then I got bored and just started playing Roblox with the browser in the background to test the performance. It's peak content. Oh. oh, I got a kill. Okay, that's enough. So, uh, it's working fine. You just need 12 cores, uh, 24 <laughs> threads. Uh, you buy me and the a CPU 470. and I'll do it. <laughs> 
credits to the GTCEF project which implements the Chromium Embeddable Framework for the Godot engine. There's no way this video would have seen the light of day if I had to write this much C++. The GitHub link is in the description if you want to pick up the code. You can also download the browser by going to whatsigma.com or the release tab on the GitHub. Also, shout out to the Discord server for suggesting some of the dumb search engines that are included in the browser. You should totally join it. I occasionally host events like these. And in case you couldn't tell, most of my criticism was satire. I don't hate new browsers. A big thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one. What's good gang? Now I'm gonna teach you how to use Galaxy Gas. So you gotta... Never mind.